This episode is sponsored by Polar Pop Break. <laughs> it's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Sometimes you just want a plate full of crispy fried chicken cutlets that you made a bunch of time ago, froze in the freezer, and now you have to use up. That's today. You saw it semi come together. You saw the saucing of it all. They're kind of blending together, but uh, we got buffalo and we got honey G with some toasted sesame seeds. I'm very excited to eat this. And uh, these are the chicken cutlets that I was talking about in my past the video the other day that I used some on that I said that I pull out of the freezer as per needed. These are the remainder of them and I figured I'd just use them all for a, a chicken video. So I'm ready to definitely go ahead and dunk in a beautiful honey garlic sesame seed. Nice little thin scallopini cutlet, right? Look at that, drizzling down into this ranch for a perfect first bite. Let's go. Ooh, these are gonna be, these are gonna be something. Mm -hmm. Like I've always said, with my chicken, I don't like it juicy. I don't like it runny with water. I like it nice and cooked. And I always let my tenders come down to basically room temp. Perfection. Absolutely delicious. All right. The buffalo. Nice little thin coat. The ranch. Mm, and the bite. Drag it through the plate. Mm. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Polar Pop Break. <laughs> Just water today, ice water. 
Right, so. I was reading the comments. Mm. Mm, perfect. On some recent videos. Because I'm trying to be better with giving hearts and likes and responding. And somebody mentioned, like, they love my vids and stuff, but slow it down. Chew your food, bro. You don't chew your food enough. And you're not wrong. <laughs> I noticed about my, that about myself. I actually have a funny little story about that. <laughs> but the reason I think why is, A, these videos, like, kind of trained me. To be aggressive. With the chew. For the storytelling. When I did a lot of storytelling. Which also somebody's asking for more stories. Everybody's always asking for stories. But I also grew up in a house. The blended family five boys and we were always competing for like it just we were savages with eating for uh, getting a bunch of food in you my one stepbrother would just inhale food and go get like a next plate And he didn't want to like go hungry and not get an next plate sometimes if you were hungry hungry but the story I have about this is my first year in uh, recording school in Toronto in sound engineering school I used to walk home with this guy we were on the same path. And one day we stopped in a subway to grab food together. And we sat at the little stool, the pull-up stool by the window. And he got like a six inch veggie sub or something like that. And I got like a fully loaded 12, 12 inch, like double meat BMT, all the fixings, right? We're sitting there, start eating. We're just talking and shit. And by the time I was almost done, my sub, you know, the full hefty loaded up foot long he was basically halfway done a six inch veggie like a light sub and i was like oh whoa man what's taking so long and he's like well because he had kind of done all his research on how you're supposed to eat. He's like, you're supposed to approximately chew every bite of food this amount of times to uh, release the salivary amylase to <laughs> properly masticate and break down your food into a uh, nutrient To where the nutrients can be more efficiently absorbed and digested properly. And then I watched him take 
his bites of food after, like once I was done basically, because I just scarfed. And I'm just sitting there talking to him, watching him eat. Pre mukbang, but real life mukbang. And he would talk to me and shove his mouth for his bite inside and just chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew, and chew. until. You know, it was properly masticated. I've always known this about eating, that you're supposed to do that. But my hungry ass, never been very good at it. I don't know. It's just like, I feel like I get enough of a couple chews in there and then it's ready to go down to gullet. <laughs> the sauce is lighting me up. I know that it is not optimal for your, di for your digestion. don't have the most fantastic digestion but I have very speedy digestion let's just say I don't have a constipation problem perhaps the opposite <laughs> it's not hard for me to produce multiple times a day you know what I mean so things run through me which would indicate my microbiome, probably not optimal. My gut flora. Probably not the greatest. I should be getting some probiotics, some cultured foods. Some sauerkraut, pickled things, kefir, kombucha, kefir, and all the pickled things. But who wants to eat sauerkraut all the time? Not me. Almost never, in fact. Maybe in a hot dog. If I was in New York. I know these things. I just don't practice them. Suppose I should start. What can you say about a fantastic saucy plate of just like chicken tenders. It's like I said, 12 year old dream. That's, you know, what my palate is. It's, it's a 12 year old's dream. I love chicken tenders. I don't know how long, how you could go wrong with a nice fried piece of chicken with some sauce. It's just, it's always good. It's a mainstay staple for a reason. It's never not good, right? Pretty much, pretty usually. It's hard to screw up. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good. Live well. Eat plates of chicken, finger tender, scallopini, things, and stay true.